Welcome back everybody to another Glios toy review and today we are jumping back into the world of Geodraxus Glios figures with the brand new drop from Spaced Out Design. We got several very cool figures to look at and everybody's been going blue lately so we got another blue theme going on with Spaced Out's new drop of the recent Geodraxus, the MK2. There's a couple variations of that including a very cool crossover with O'Neill Designs Feos figure for the MK2. Now I didn't end up getting that figure, I just went with straight Geodraxuses this time, but I will showcase that figure a little bit later in the video as well. And then secondly, we also have a very, very cool Geodraxus that I'm very excited for. This was one they put in front of their tables at PowerCon. It's the Geoskull Geodraxus. It looks really, really dope. So I'm excited to check them out with you guys. If you like the Glios content, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. Let's go and jump into the package. Kabam, we've got the nice spaced out design package here. We're going to get it opened up. I did want to really quick just showcase a little build that I just did recently. I call this guy, what did I call this guy? Ah yes, the Mushi Mangler. We've got some nice Mangalore arms and parts, and then we've got a nice Mushi build from God Beast. And I just wanted to show him off because he's a pretty sick character. Pretty happy with how this build came out. There he is compared to a Crayboot. I, you know, like to theorize that he hunts Crayboots and eats them alive or something. We got like these little Stranger Thing vibes. He is pretty lanky. He is hard to stand, but when you can get him standing, he's got a very, very cool look. In any case, I did post about him and did some pictures and stuff for him on my Instagram. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, make sure to go check it out. Lockdown51, doing all sorts of Glios pictures and builds and stuff on there as well. You're not going to want to miss that kind of content. Hopefully it can get you guys inspired for doing your own Glios builds and whatnot. I know I definitely get inspired a lot from Instagram and all the guys that are on there doing their own thing with their builds. But let's pull out these figures here. Oh man, these blues. We got my receipt, but then we also got stickers. We love these stickers. I am so glad they include these. It's such a nice little freebie. They're sick. The artist is incredible. I think I linked them in the last Spaced Out video that we did, but I'll link them again because uh, definitely is a great artist. He's got some good looking art stickers here going on. Really fantastic. All right, so we got our MK figures. We got our Geoskull figure. We're gonna take a look, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the nice MK2 figure. This blue and silver banger. The blue on this looks absolutely incredible. And also really quick, here's the Faos figure, the MK2 Faos figure from the O'Neill crossover that he did. Looks really, really dope. Really wanted to get my hands on that one too, but I opted just to go for some nice Geodraxus stuff here today. Let's get him out. We'll take a closer look at all his nice little color features. As you know, we've got that extra little nice headpiece and we've got the sword arm, a very good parts. I usually put on the sword arm for this guy, but here he is. Let's get him a little repositioned here. The MK2, the standard version, a very nice standard version, looking excellent, looking sick. I absolutely love how the silver looks with this blue. It's a very, very sharp blue, a very cool looking blue too. Like this is a nice, nice royal blue. Uh, you know, I'm trying not to spend money on Glios and I had to talk to my wife before, you know, doing this purchase of these Geodraxis guys and her favorite color is royal blue, just like this. So uh, she was a little bit biased and said, yeah, you should probably go ahead and add those to the collection because that is pretty sick. And I definitely agree. It looks fantastic. And since this is the MK2, there was a first version of this guy that had a little bit slightly different tone of blue. In fact, here is a guy from Instagram. He had a great little picture showing off both of them together, the old and the new. So go follow him. He's a really cool guy for the Glass community as well. Got lots of cool pictures on there, but he did that nice comparison. I thought it was interesting just to show it off and show what they kind of both look like and how they updated the nice resin and stuff like that and the colors and where you were started, where they started and where they are now type of thing. But this guy is just really sick. I kind of want to get two of the standards, but I opted I opted for this. I opted to just get two of the plain ones, the no painted versions of it. So we're going to crack open one of these so you can just take a look at how he looks, you know, just in just in that crazy translucent blue. 
with nothing else going on, I can't wait to build with this blue. I think it's going to look incredible to build with, which is why I, I ended up getting two of these, because I think he's going to look fantastic for parts and stuff like that, adding into things. Might even do like another crazy Stonem figure guy eventually, and I think this blue would just be, whew, this blue would be incredible to put on a Stonem or something build them out a little bit, something, you know what I mean? That would be sick. And I've got a ton of heads over here that I just really want to start using too. I'm hoping to have another Build It Goliath build video thing going on here soon, planning it out a bit, hoping to do some little paint custom work and then piecing together a figure on camera here so you guys can, you know, familiarize yourself with how the parts can get used and the versatility of different parts and stuff. I know for me personally, at least, that helps me to kind of see what parts can go where and you know how shoulder pads or heads can be repurposed for growing areas or feet or fists or whatever. I think that's really cool. And once you get familiar with it, the builds come way easier too, and I'm still learning. So putting it on camera, I think is just a good idea and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. So keep a lookout for those. But this is a really cool figure. If you want if you want to see me, wow, my voice is cracking. If you want to see me use this figure in the next build series, let me know in the comments below if you want to see this nice royal blue Geodraxxus MK2 getting fired up in a cool like custom build. I think it could look really dope. And really quick, I just want to get a closer peek here at the nice face detail and the chest and everything. I don't think we got close enough look here. The back of the head, you name it. And really quick, I think we'll just go ahead and pop off his arm here, pop on his sword. We'll put in his left hand today. Why not? Kabang, kaboom. There we go. Looking really sick. His head was about to pop off, but bang, the sword looking excellent. Ah, so funny how everybody's dropping the blue guys right now. The last few months has just been blue figure after blue figure, and I am not complaining. And lastly, we do have the Geo Skull Geodraxxus figure. Super, super dope. I love it. I believe this is kind of based off more of like a He-Man figure or something, like the Geo Skull. I don't know, but I think he looks exactly like like he's got the same color tones and everything as Cell from Dragon Ball Z. So instantly that's what I thought of when I saw him getting showcased off at the PowerCon table they had. It's got that lighter green. It's got that kind of like faded green with like these little dots and sparkles. You know, it's giving off some crazy vibes. It's got the orange. Like, come on, that looks freaking incredible. I love how this guy looks. He looks so sweet. They had a base like plain version of him too, which was just the glitter tone of him. Uh, I opted just to get him today because I'm not going to mess with him. I think he just looks sick on his own. Reminds me a lot of the first Geodraxxus figure I got too, which was also like a nice green and purple. But this guy looks incredible. I love it. I love the orange highlight. He's got such a nice look to him. Let's get in a little bit closer here on the detail of the head and face and whatnot. You can see all the parts. It's got a little bit of uh, translucency, not too much. It's more opaque in its faded green teal look. Man, oh man, did they do a good job. I love how they paint these guys. I'm always impressed with how they do like the fading of the paint and the highlights are really nicely placed. I think they just works really well for this figure. They really mastered the look of the Geodraxxus. Fantastic. And just to showcase it off as well, we do get that other little headpiece. It looks very slick, very cool. Again, just same similar color tones. And then we got that nice kind of dual colored faded out sword hand which looks incredible really really sick i absolutely love it i'm so glad i was able to get him i've been waiting i've been waiting since PowerCon for them to put this guy on the store i knew they had to have some extra here i didn't think they sold out and they sure didn't and you know what they're still not sold out too i will remind you guys to go over there support spaced out design uh they do still have the standard i believe they still have the geo skull um they might be out of the plain one and I know they did sell out of the Faos, unfortunately, but they definitely still have these two. Definitely worth it. I love this blue. This green looks incredible. Uh, so if you want to go support Spaced Out Design, highly suggest you do that. Again, there's the links and stuff one more time because they definitely need that support. I absolutely love these guys. And if you want them to continue making some truly awesome figures, go ahead and buy yourself a Glios today. What else is there to say about these guys? Anything else? I think we pretty much covered it all. They look incredible. I'll flash the website again one more time for you guys. I think they did a phenomenal job. They look really, really sick. Can't wait to see what they do next. Keep in mind that Spaced Out sometimes do does like secret surprise figure drops for really nicely made like 
PVC resin, nicely painted dudes. They had some really unique ones these past few months that dropped occasionally. You got to keep your eye out, out on the website and everything and keep updated for on their socials and whatnot too. Just a little FYI in case nobody knew about that, but sometimes they do have little secret mystery drops with very exclusive figures. So I haven't been able to get my hands on one of those yet, but you know what? I'm perfectly happy just getting some of these guys right here. They look super dope. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed one more time, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment with what you guys thought of this little Geodraxis drop and stay tuned for more Glass content in the future. Have yourselves a great rest of the week and we are heading into Halloween season. So you're not going to want to miss some of the spooky themed videos that we've got planned for this month. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.